In these problems, we're using the formulas for area of circles and sectors to solve some really interesting real-world useful problems in math. So this should be fun. The first one says a round pizza with a diameter of 48 centimeters is cut into 15 equal sectors, so 15 uh, triangular or pie-shaped pieces. A square pizza with sides of length 47 centimeters is cut into nine equal squares. Okay, so you've got a circle that has a diameter of 48, and it's cut into these 15 of these pieces. And then you've got a square that's a little bit smaller than the circle is uh, around, or across, and so that's 47. And it's cut into nine equal pieces, so I guess they did a tic-tac-toe kind of thing, and they cut it into square pieces. And the ch you have a choice. You're going to grab one of these sectors or one of these squares. Which one's going to give you the most pizza? Of course you want to know. So you're going to do some quick calculations before you take your pizza. So let's figure out the area of the sector first. We need to know what fraction of the, of the circle it is. In this case, they're telling us there are 15 pieces. So you know one piece is going to be 1 15th. And then we're going to multiply that by the area of this circle, which is pi times the radius squared. The diameter is 48, so the radius would be half that, or 24. So that's 1 15th times pi times 24 squared. And when you crunch the numbers on that, you're going to get 120.64 or so square centimeters. All right, let's try the square pizza. Th this one, um, we want to find out what's the side uh, of one of these square pieces. So one of these sides is 47 centimeters long, and it's cut into three equal pieces. So this side is going to be 47, this little side here, 47 divided by 3, which is 15 and 2 thirds. And then the area would be that side times itself, so times 15 and 2 thirds. And if you punch that in your calculator, you're going to get 245.44 square centimeters. So what you notice here is that the square piece is giving you double what you get from the sector of pizza. So I would definitely go after the square if you're feeling hungry. They're asking how much greater it is. If you want to know how much greater it is, you simply subtract. So 245.44 minus 120.64 and you get 123.8 more square centimeters of pizza. All right, let's try another one. This one's about a construction project. It says the figure below represents the overhead view of a deck surrounding a hot tub. So this part in the middle must be the hot tub, and this on the outside must be the deck. What is the area of the deck to the nearest tenth? What you've got going on here really are two circles, a big outer circle and then an inner circle. And we want to get this sort of donut area. And that would be the big circle minus the little circle. So we'll figure the areas of both of those and then we'll do that subtraction. Let's figure out the little circle first. So little circle is pi times r squared. Well, what's the radius here? It's going to be half of 5.2. So we'll just, I'll just write that as 5.2 divided by 2, and then we'll square that. So you can go ahead and punch that into your calculator. And what you should get there, and let's see, they want us to use 3.14 for pi. So that should equal 21.23. And this is meters squared. Now, that's the little circle. The big circle is going to be, well, here's, it's actually a little tricky. Um, they don't give us the, the radius of the big circle. The radius of the big circle would be from here all the way to here. So you would take half of that 5.2 distance and add 2.3 to it. So that radius is actually going to be 4.9. So it's pi times 4.9 squared. And that comes out to 75.39. So now we're going to subtract 21.23. So that's the little circle we're subtracting from the big circle. And that comes out to 1.5. Oh, 
should come out to 54.16, and this is square meters. So that's the area of the deck. Let's try one more. Okay, this is one of my favorite types of problems. They're asking, what is the area of the portion outside the circles but inside the square? So imagine you take a piece of paper here, a square piece of paper that's 28 inches on a side. You cut out those circles very carefully, and what's the area that you have left, the scraps? So what you want to do here is you want to take the area of the square and subtract 4 times the area of one of the circles. Okay, so you're subtracting the four circles from the square. So we're going to need to know what uh, the radius of one of these circles is. And what you can see is since two circles side by side fill up that whole length of 28, what that says is that two diameters is 28. So a single diameter would be half of that, or 14, so a radius would be half of that, or 7. So now we can figure out the area of one of these circles. The area is going to be pi times the radius squared, or 49 pi. Now I'm going to stop at 49 pi because it says express your answer in terms of pi. So we'll just leave it there. We won't figure out the decimal. Now let's figure out the area of, well actually let's figure out the area of four of those circles. So that would be 4 times 49 pi. And that would be 196 pi. Now, let's figure out the area of this guy. That's a square, so the area is going to be 28 times 28, or 28 squared. And that's easy enough. That's going to be 784. So we wanted the area of the square, 784, minus the area of four of those circles, which is 196 pi. And when we're expressing this in terms of pi, that's all the farther we have to go. That's a perfectly appropriate answer. So that's a little bit of work with some word problems with the areas of circles and sectors. My name is Larry. I am a teacher at EdVisions Off Campus, an online project-based school for 7th through 12th graders. If you live in Minnesota and you want to check us out, you can find us at lovethisschool.org. Thanks.